You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? We're just going to hop right into this video. I'm not even going to explain it. Unless you saw the title of the video, obviously. And I hope you did. That wouldn't make any sense. I can straight up drink Worcestershire sauce. It's so good. Like, I, it's so good. I should, this is not gay people, you guys. I just want to, I just feel like I need to say that. This is not what gay people, it's, this is at Paris Pride. So the craziness of pride is not just an American thing. Okay, it's happening everywhere. And I feel like it's necessary for me to say this because I am gay and there are people out there that don't know many gay people then see this and think that we all want to wear dirty diapers and flash our man titties. Now, if you want to dress up like a baby and walk in public, that's fine. I will judge you, but that's fine. You should have the freedom to do it. However, if you're going to put my sexuality in the same alphabet as this type of behavior, I'm going to have to say something about it. This may be controversial of me to say, but not everything society rejects has to be accepted. I understand that at one point, gay people were not accepted in society, but just because that's true does not mean that we have to normalize this behavior. The sad part is, is that these individuals are probably not even gay, yet they're at pride giving gay people a bad name. We have been over this multiple times, okay? We'll say it again. Pride is not about your sexuality anymore. It is about kinks and it is about fetishes. So you might as well go ahead and wrap up that, okay? I understand where you're coming from. I really do. But at this point, it's, it's over the edge. Pride is no longer about your sexuality and being gay. It's about kinks. It's about your fetish. We literally had people walking around nude. We had people walking around in like this, the baby costumes. We had people walking around in um, their leather outfits, right? And people clearly do not care if they, if you see them as gay or not gay. You Here's the sad thing is that pride is I don't even know who is a predator or not. When you got grown men and grown women walking around kissing each other and getting booty naked in front of kids, like who am I supposed to be able to, to be able to go, well, that person is clearly stable and loves the children. That's why they pulled out their penis in front of a child. I mean, clearly they just care about the kids and this is about them being gay. When we saw those women kissing in front of a fountain, kissing each other in front of a fountain with their breasts out, panties on, kissing in front of a little girl, like what, like, what are we going? Oh, you know what? Clearly they care about the children. They can't be a predator at all. Because what would you say that is predator behavior? I would say that's pretty dang close. And also to go back to these people wearing baby outfits and all that kind of stuff. Listen, that is a fetish. That can be a fetish as well. Some people will argue it's a kink and there's a difference between kinks and fetishes. Um, if you feel like you have to go out into public to do this thing, to me, it then turns into a fetish. Because that, how is it a kink if you're doing it in front of the public? You know, isn't that supposed to be before the bedroom, not to be judged? But now you're throwing it out here in front of everybody to see? Is that a confidence booster? Does it make you feel better about yourself? No, guys. It's a way to just show your sexuality and throw your, not show your sexuality. It's the way to show off your fetishes and kinks and throw it in people's face and be like, you should be a part of this too. It's no longer, because I remember when BDSM and, you know, bondage, sadism, um, all that stuff used to be just kept in house. It used to be very important to keep that in house and keep people's business out of the streets, right? That was something you did at home. Not, not that I'm saying it's right. But people used to use it because they needed to restart the sexual engine. Things got boring in the bedroom and some people wanted to be humiliated and all that kind of stuff. But they used to keep it as a dark world. You no, know, something you would have to know about. People don't do that anymore. They want you to see. And I think it's more to validate themselves to be like, oh, no, this is perfectly OK. Also, I want to get in baby diapers and put in a pacifier. Who are you to tell me? I'm telling you, this is the way to really free yourself. And then you got people who acting like animals in public. I just I just don't know anymore. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I I think the pride has just turned into a kink fetish parade. I don't know, man. I really don't. Goodbye.